Teeny pull up on my horse, I'm training nigga just to sport Six shooter on my hip, I don't need no damn support Swing my boot, that's back for short, I'll take your life out of the store I don't need my head in 30, I don't nature run this course Teeny pull up on my horse, I'm training nigga just to sport Hello, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. With YouTube's new rules, my videos don't get recommended and sometimes they might not even be in your subscription box. So the fact that you're here right now, I really, really appreciate it. And today I have a blue glittery look that's super, super simple and affordable and easy to do if you want something different if you want to pull up to work and stunt you know what i mean this is i wear this if you're a stripper go ahead and do this i love it i love blue eyeshadow it was used in the 60s a lot in the 70s 80s and then people stopped using blue eyeshadow i'm not if you're if you're a beauty girl right now watching and you use blue shadow i'm not don't this is not for you but you know blue shadow has been looked down on i feel like people are like blue shadow ew i skipped the blue shadow phase like bitch i love blue shadow why are you skipping that phase but anyways thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching thank you so much for i feel like my my energy is too much sometimes i talk so much shit i'm very like my to you know i'm very like i don't know i feel like some girls might not like me because of how i am but thank you so much if you're here and you actually enjoy my content and shout out to all the girls that watch my videos with their boyfriends hey boyfriend like y'all i that's goals right there i wish i had a boyfriend that i could watch makeup tutorials with because i feel like the guys i talk to they never watch a makeup tutorial with me they'd be like what the fuck bitch i ain't trying to watch no bitch do her makeup change that shit you know so shout out to you boyfriend for watching and sticking through my annoying ass I know, some guys DM me on Snapchat and they're like, bitch, I'm so tired of you. My girl's always watching you. I'm like, damn, boy, who hurt you? Are you mad because I make your girl happier than you do? Zing! Anyways, if you want to know how to get this look, bitch, you're going to stay here. Because I need to be more, more poised and more soft-spoken so I could, you know, not intimidate people when they watch me. Okay, so let's try that again. Hey, girls, thank you so much for being here. And if you want to recreate this look, then keep on watching. That was cringy as fuck. I cannot. I cannot. Um. Bitch, you know what you came here for? To watch my dumb ass do ugly ass makeup. Grab onto your seats, cause the next scene, me with no makeup, might just scare you. Ooh, ooh. This shit's bright. This shit's bright. I haven't filmed. Hold up, let me adjust my eyes. Let's start off with talking about bruh. Okay, so I was sick a few weeks ago, really sick, like my throat, my ears. I think I had an infection, right? So I was sick, but I did not want to miss out on the este louder. Oh my gosh, how do you say that? Este louder. Her, I did not want to miss out on my girl because they give out all of this if you spend. 75 or more so i went and i needed some foundations i wanted to try high end because i want to see if i'm really missing out if the hype is really real so i went i got some and guess what there was a viewer there oh my gosh i, I don't think i'll find her twitter because my twitter is just it's just too much to even go through but oh, oh my gosh what was her name what was her name what was her name oh she was so fucking sweet Girl, if you are watching right now, I, I doubt it, but if you're watching, thank you so much for helping me out. So the sale only lasted for two weeks or three, I'm not sure, but I went the last day and I went ugly as fuck. I was like, fuck it, you know, and I was sick on top of that. So I looked ugly. I went with like my worst clothes that I had. Um, I was just trying to go in and out, you know, and then she recognized me. Oh my gosh, I was so embarrassed. I was like, fuck, because it's like those times when you're sick. And you know, you didn't plug out your eyebrows. Why is my primer not mixing with this lotion? Look at this. Oh, that happens with a lot of things. Some products don't blend well. Okay, so you know when you're sick and you don't plug out your eyebrows? My peach fuzz was like all fucking grown out. Dude, I was just so embarrassed because like, I'm a Scorpio, okay? I'm very like, I'm very controlling as to what people see of me and shit like that. 
and I just didn't want anybody to see me that day because <laughs> I look like shit. I look disgusting. I mean, I already do, but it's like it's like yeah, it it was just multiplied. You know, I was sick. I wasn't feeling good. I hadn't ate all day or even like the whole fucking week. I don't think I ate, so I had no energy. Pimples all out like right now. You know, so whatever. I met a viewer and yake, 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 I will do, you know. But she was so nice. So, like, that's the thing. Like, I love meeting you guys, but I hate that you guys have to see me that way, you know. But so sorry, girl, that you saw all my flaws up close and personal. I'm sorry, I probably scarred your image. She probably unstand me. She probably unfollowed me from all my social media after that. But she was super nice, super helpful. And I asked her to match me, and they have a machine. It's so sick and it matches your skin so perfect and it did. Like it looks, my foundation looks really good now. And I was like, damn girl, I didn't come to the doctor. I came to get my foundation matched. It was like a machine that goes beep, 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 beep. I was like, fuck. For me to have somebody that close in my face, it's, it's, it takes a lot for me, trust me. I don't like getting my hair done. I don't like getting my makeup done by other people because I just don't like people being all on my face looking at my flaws. I think of it this way. It's like if I was working at Ulta and a big YouTuber came in and I helped them out and I see their skin up close and personal. But I, I, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck, let me see, let me see, you feel me? So, oh, just thinking about it makes me cringe. Like she probably saw my hairs right here. By the way, how do you guys take away your peach fuzz? If you don't have peach fuzz and you're perfect, bitch, don't even be on my channel. <laughs> but to all my girls that are Mexican, Armenian, any other nationality that has thick hair, I love my thick hair. Like I just, I love it, you know. But I just don't like it on my face and my body. I just want hair on my eyebrows, my eyelashes, and my scalp. Anything else, it got to fucking go. <sighs> I hate dealing with hair. Do you guys? shave it do you guys thread it do you guys wax it let me know i heard threading is good but then when you put foundation on you can see the lines where they thread your skin and i don't want that so right now i just take the razors like the thin ones for the eyebrows i just take it and go down like that and that's what i do but then yeah your hair keeps growing every week and you have to keep doing it so let me know down below how you girls take care of your facial hair okay so she uh wow Wow, that just flew across the whole fucking room and I am not gonna get up and get that shit. I bought this primer right here and I love it because it has a blurring effect. It looks so good on camera with lights, but it doesn't cover pores. And I have head of motherfucking pores. So what I do is I use my Revlon Photo Ready and this one, you know how I was talking shit about it because it was so dry, but it's pretty good. For it to be drugstore, it does a fucking job. And I like putting this right here because it really does mattify and cover pores. It is pretty drying, okay? So if your skin is dry, I don't suggest the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. There is way more hydrating primers out in the market. I really, really wish I knew and remembered what her name was. But girl, your skin looked amazing and you're beautiful. Let me tell you, I asked her what she had and she had the double wear. My mom had this and I used to use it a little bit when I was younger, but it was so thick. I remember using this when I was 15 and I was like, no mamas, it was like super thick. But now I appreciate full coverage because I'm fucking 23 and my skin is sagging, my skin is getting ugly and it's getting dual. And bitch, I see all these YouTuber beauty gurus have hella work on their face. Like they have their fucking cheekbones done. They have their eyebrows raised. They have this with Botox, this with Botox. Their lips are done. Um, their fucking neck is fucking um, carved out like that. And I'm still over here looking like a fucking Dollar Tree ass bitch. So I gotta like take care of my skin, bro. I really do. So I got the Perfectionist Foundation. And this is Youth Infusing Serum Makeup. So this is a serum. If you get this, you're gonna see that it kind of slides off you have to set it with powder but when you mix these two oh yeah we got a combo this was a lot it equal to I'll put the price right here because I don't want to do the math but that's a lot for foundations because these two right here give you the same effect as this I swear okay so the LA girl pro coverage looks just like the perfectionist seven dollars two thousand dollars obviously you know so that shit's good and then when you mix it with the covergirl three and one this is like this seven dollars fucking like a hundred dollars so if you want this combination mix i really suggest 
these two right here these are amazing this is my favorite combo and both of these are in the color dawn and they match perfectly with my skin i am obsessed i'm only applying foundation to my forehead my eyebrows and my eyelid because this eyeshadow is going to have a lot of fallout so i'll work on this part of the face when i'm done with the eyes okay that's just how i do it i need to have foundation all on my eyebrows i don't know how these beauty gurus do it with the uh eyebrows first and then the makeup bitch that's a fucking perfectionist satanic type shit i cannot do that i'm waiting for my birthday to get close so i can have a fresh ass set because if i get a set right now by the time my birthday comes october 27 i am gonna have grown ass ugly nails so today we have no nails and i feel like a fucking man like this it's just i don't feel extra like with the nails i just feel like a brand new bitch i'm obsessed with the real techniques sponge the beauty blender i don't know why i don't like it anymore i bought it again and i went back to ota and bought this one i just love that it has a flat surface it's bigger it's bouncier you know what i'm gonna do though i'm gonna cover my pimples so other people that have ocd don't have to be staring at that shit so let me um conceal my pimples like always i am using a peach transition color and i finally got my hands on these wet and wild brushes i have a little eye boogie excuse me Thank you, sir. I'm wiping it on my towel, don't worry. These Wet n Wild brushes are $1, and I found it, guess where? Guess where? Dollar Tree. Mm-hmm, $1. I also got a contouring one, and they're so good. For it to be $1, amazing. Cut, 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 cut. I forgot to highlight my brow bone, and I am taking my favorite Estee Lauder Brilliant Eyeshadow in the color Impulsive Blonde. This is a wet to dry eyeshadow. It looks amazing. There it is on the back of my palm. Little story on this eyeshadow. This girl that was one of my uh, subscribers met me at the Saks Fifth counter and she recommended this as a highlighter. It's so fucking beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh, especially on like my type of skin tone. Even like darker complexion, this color looks so pretty. Wet to dry. This shit is dry right now. Camera doesn't do it justice in person. Woo! So I went to a wedding and I took this because I just like carrying it around to like touch up my highlight and all that. And somebody at the fucking wedding came up on this shit. They stole it from me. I don't know who it was. It was somebody at my table, I think, because I didn't fucking find that shit anymore. I'm so fucking mad just thinking about it. They fucking stole my fucking highlighter. And what pisses me the fuck off is that that eyeshadow had an emotional meaning behind it. That subscriber of mine recommended it to me. Um, she was super nice. She even FaceTimed her cousin to say hi to me because she watched me. Y'all, like, I need to get over my anxiety because low-key everywhere I go, somebody recognizes me now. I'm not trying to sound cocky. I'm not. I swear, I swear. But... The places I've been going to lately, somebody me reconoce and I'm just like, fuck, I'm so embarrassed. Um, but yeah, she had me FaceTime her cousin and I don't know, she was super nice. I lost my phone and I had to fucking call security and they looked around the store and they found them. Or my keys, sorry, I lost my car keys. So fuck whoever stole that shit. And another thing, um, at that wedding, there was two of my viewers there that recognized me and DM'd me afterwards saying, oh, you were at that wedding because we're family and parientes from that. And I'm just like, wow, like not even at my own family parties, it could be a gusto. Like, now I'm thinking about it and I was just like, damn, what was I doing? Like, was I dancing stupid? Was I walking stupid? Was I fucking uh, drinking too much and they were looking at me like the whole time? I just, wow. Like, and the thing is, she didn't tell me at that moment, so I could have been doing like some rowdy ass shit and then... There was a viewer of mine there, watching every move. Wow, that's crazy, dude. It's a small world. It is a small fucking world. Please, if you ever see me somewhere like that, like at a party, family function, let me know because I do not want to make a fool of myself in front of you guys. So, at least be like, hey, yo! I see you or something, no? But if you just are looking at me, you know me, you don't tell me nothing at a party, bitch. Uh, Alright guys, so for this look, I'm just taking all the blue shit that I have. I have this blue metallic eyeshadow or liquid lipstick from Black Moon. This is a brand that was trying to sue Jeffree Star for taking the logo with the Manny MUA collab. They reached out and I was like, they're against Jeffree? Let me do that. <laughs> Bro, this is why I am never going to get to the top because I'm cutting and burning bridges. But why do I want to build a bridge with somebody that's just racist? Also taking this, and this is 
eyeshadow in liquid form también como the black moon one i'm taking the mini palette this is a staple i love it um, i'm taking this blue i'm taking that blue i'm taking that baby blue i'm also taking this blue right here so all the blues that i have in my same old same old palettes and i'm also taking this was four bucks but it's not four bucks anymore i looked it up and now it's like eight or ten i believe but i got it for four at walmart this these two i already talked about amazing highlight it looks like water butter just beautiful i'm taking that blue too yeah so i'm taking all the blues so i'm basically starting from lightest to darkest with the blues now i'm taking this bright ass purplish by the way i love this mac charged water and i love the packaging it looks super glittery and this spray is so amazing for wet to dry eyeshadows for your highlighter. It's a little different than Fix Plus. I like this one. It does crease a little bit, but you know, all liquid eyeshadows are gonna uh, eventually crease. You can't really um, help that. I'm just applying it here and then I'm taking a flat shader brush to blend it out let me see where i have mine at i think i bought one from oh yeah why is this bruh why i have some makeup in this bag and I, what but why the fuck okay oh my gosh it smells like backward mm. where is it You need to hurry up because it does dry up like my dumbass let that shit dry because I was looking for my mirror like always always looking for something looking for trouble looking for shit looking for dick bruh um f me I fucked it up okay. it was super dry but I fixed it I like how it's looking in person so now I'm cleaning up with a wet towelette Pues ni modo que seca, pendeja. Oh, I hear random noises in my house all the time. And I just I just tune them out and I click. They were never there. Moving on to the exciting part of this tutorial. I found this at Dollar Tree. You guys, Dollar Tree comes in clutch. It's snail art decoration glitter for nails. But obviously I'm going to be a rebel and use it on my eyes and look how cute it is you guys just look at these little baby jars oh my gosh and they're glass all of this kit was a dollar viene con un nail filer y viene con crazy glue this is so freaking cute look at i can't even tilt it because no one will be able to but look at that oh my gosh so taking the blue one and you guys the orange one is so pretty it reflects yellow pink orange Oh, amazing. It looks holographic-ish, kind of. I heard the Too Faced Glitter Glue is pretty good, but the Girl Adulta was like, girl, that's too much. I say you get the NYX one, and it works the same. So, thank you. Shout out to that girl. She was really nice for once. Goddamn, every time I go to Ulta, some rude-ass fucking stuck-up bitches are there. Looking all mad and shit. So, anyways, taking the... Oh, I love the packaging. Taking glue on the back of my hand. Oh, it's shiny, actually. It has little glitter particles in it already. So. Oh, hell nah. It isn't a lift the liquid shadow I have on there, but whatever. Like I said, liquid eyeshadow is pretty tricky to work with, but I fuck with it. So. Mmm. This is probably not safe for the eyes. But. Nothing's safe out here, boy. The air isn't safe. The food isn't safe. Your man isn't safe. Nothing safe. Ooh. Ooh. Is it hot in here or is it just me? I'm so high in here. as weed. Moving on to lashes. I bought some new bounce some lashes and I got the style Bombay, which is when I 
usually get and Russian black but they didn't send me Russian black they thought they were gonna be slick with it and send me Serengeti um, bitch this is not Russian black there's a huge difference in the lashes and they sent me an email saying oh how was your purchase I was like wrong bitch it was wrong so y'all better send me a new pair or sponsor me because y'all be sponsoring bitches that don't be having a huge following um, I seen girls get sponsored by New Bouncem and they have less subscribers than me so New Bouncem what the fuck like I'm always I think I shot at you guys out in a few videos already so bitch I'm gonna I, I fucking emailed them I was like either you guys send me a new pair the right one or you guys fucking start sponsoring me the fuck I just think that I mean I'm showing you guys New Bouncem so New Bouncem what the fuck like I got a following y'all could do it uh 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 huh this is not the pair I wanted you Fucking piece of shh. Listen, get the wet, it's peligrosa. My neighbors, I feel bad for my neighbors because they must think I'm a psychotic bitch. I am, but it's just like, they ain't gotta know all that. <laughs> they ain't gotta know all that. Okay, and I also bought this eyelash glue from Daiso. It is a clear, clear eyeshadow glue. I've never seen something like this. So, of course, I was intrigued, and I was like, let me get that shit. I got it. Oh, my gosh. It burns like hell. I swear my eyes look bloodshot red when I use this. But I am too lazy to go to Target and get duos, so I'm using this. So excuse me while I go put on these lashes and cry like a little bitch with this glue. It's like, don't you think they would try the product out and then put it on the market? These bitches are literally giving acid and fucking eyelash glue because, oh, my gosh, I thought I was going to go blind. Okay, yeah. Take a selfie. Take a selfie. Take a Are you that lazy to get your thumb and press the picture button? Take a selfie. That takes more effort than just using your thumb. It's ridiculous. It's just ways to get us to have a phone that's constantly recording our voice on the spot 24-7. That way it can catch us saying some off the wall shit, which I'm always saying every fucking day. I need to cut these little two hairs that are bugging me. Snip. Huge difference. Huge difference. It's the little things in life that matter, you know? Still finding myself let alone so many I'm just saying. Feel like we wanted to say our relationship changed. That or it never existed. Well, fuck what they talking about on your timeline. That's cutting all into my time, I'll accept the call. Hello, mother. Well, I just got in, I thought it was too late to call you. Oh my gosh, I love how women in the 60s talk like so so cute you know like so innocent and like poise and <sighs> bitch because i talk gosh like i can never talk i wish i could talk like that you know i wish i could, i wish i was a, a girl like that like elegant and like a woman you know but like i'm not i'm like so fucking manly bro like <sighs> i hate it and Thank you so much to you girls that watch me because the way it come off is too strong. I feel like I could uh, rub people the wrong way, but I really don't mean to. It's just how I am and my energy is. But yeah, like I wish I could talk like so like, Hi, mother. Of course, mother. I know I don't have any talent. And I know all I have is a body. Damn, bitch. I got no talent or body. Goddamn. What am I going to do? Hola atrevida, yo te traigo una noticia y por eso es mi sonrisa y te la daré sin prisa. El hombre con que sale es mío y tú lo sabes. En la cama no vale. Por eso vine a felicitarte de lo que me libraste. Confesarte, la vida es así. Otra te hace a ti feliz. Everybody thinks they can do it. Everybody thinks they can do you better than you. The money go where I go, smoking on gelato. For my lips, I'm taking this Renegade. It's so dirty because it's white packaging. Uh, Renegade in 86th, 86th. Um, Jenny gave this to me and it's pretty nice. I like it. I think blue looks really good with peach colors. So here we go. Uh, these colors are pretty hard to work with just because they're so light. 
So let me find a lip gloss. For my lip gloss, I'm taking Buxom in Bellini. I love Buxom lip glosses and my all-time favorite Buxom color is Claire. It is ridiculously shiny, bro. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut right, I'm gonna get cut right. <laughs> yes, is that serious now? Fuck. Um, Selena, it's every day, bro. It's every day, bro, with the Selena fucking float. Um, you know what's funny though? I don't like no one right now. I don't know how I feel about that. I think when you like someone, it motivates you to just like get up and do shit. And like right now, I don't like nobody. I guess I just need to like go out and mingle more, but but like I kind of don't want to. Pulls up to McDonald's drive-through like this. Can I get an oatmeal and orange juice? This actually came with directions, like a whole paper that opens up like a map. I'm like, it's setting spray or like what the fuck? After applying makeup, shake bottle well. Hold 8 to 10 inches, so... That's pretty far, but okay, here we go. It doesn't smell good. They could do better with the smell. But then again, once they start making them smell good, that means that they're adding more chemicals, which then fucks us up. Love for your love. 